So guys, welcome back to the channel, but welcome back to a total different location. So James got, um, what's the course called again? Monarch Beach. Monarch Beach Lynx Resort. I have got Woolly Park in the ice, but we are going somewhere else. We are going into the simulator, and what we're going to do is we're going to play three holes on the simulator, and we're going to start to test these balls out, play alternate on each hole, and start to see what kind of spins we get. With this price point, with the money that you're saving, is going to make a big difference in regards to how we can play a hole. We've got to put a good swing on it. Let's get some numbers. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start with the vice ball. So we are trying to say, guys, if you are buying these golf balls, if you are saving money, are we going to get the same kind of results? Are we going to get the same kind of spin from your normal swing? So getting on some kind of track man, getting on some kind of simulator to start to test these numbers is going to help you see. So... First off. It's a slinger. Solid strike. It's coming back. Plenty of hang time. 250 carry. So we go. Let's have a look at the numbers. 3,000 spin on that. 157 ball speed launched at 13. So good numbers. Carried one, 254. Ball speed's very impressive. On 257. So pretty good numbers there. Right now with the Pro V1, try and put a similar swing on that. It's a little bit lower. And turning. So I'm going to say this one's got less spin on it just because of how I've returned the club and I've used a bit of a path for some extra distance. <laughs> Every little helps. 2.8 spin, launch angle 11.2. Ball speed pretty much exactly the same. I think yep. two very different swings, but the balls of reacts are pretty similar. Yeah, so pretty similar. So James is going to come up now and do the same. So James is going to get his driver with his settings. He's going to hit the two same balls. So I think James, you're going to start with the Pro V? I'll start the Pro V, yeah. Yep, yeah, and we're going to start to see this. So again, guys, when you're testing, two different ball flights there, but we can see the spin rates as a result of the shot, not necessarily because of the ball, which is the main thing we're trying to look at. So, yes, yeah, certainly something we talk about quite often on Talking Balls. How good do you have to be to see such a huge difference with your golf ball? Right. Let's see what we can do with the Pro V1 to start. That's exactly the same tee shot as what I hit when we did play the farms, interestingly. All the way down there. 270 odd carry, but we know that's the line in, Chris, having played it, don't we? What's that? 156 ball, very similar to what, exactly what I would expect. Backspin very, very low because, again, I'm using tailor-made stealth. I find I do get a low spin with that. See if we can hit the same swing with the vice. Similar flight, a little bit right. Yeah, again, I've quite enjoyed that as a shot. I've not caught it quite as well. It was a bit toey. I think the ball speed might be down because of the strike. Not very comparable shots for you there, I'm afraid. Let me hit one more with that vice because I think that was more... The, you than the ball? The pilot than the ball. Comes oh. back to the same argument. Is that one stroke? That was better. That's a similar shot. Probably a little bit further, actually. Yeah. yeah so very similar to Pro V1 there. So numbers-wise? Ball speed down a touch, so down two. Backspin pretty much exactly the same. That was an identical swing, I felt, to the Pro V1. So just lacking on ball speed a little bit, but 279 carry, pretty much exactly the same for quite a lot cheaper. Right, so... Testing irons now, guys. Again, we want to do this. We want to test it with the driver. We want to test it with a mid iron. So we've got 182 or 83, sorry, here. I've got a six iron. So we're going to see what kind of spin. Really, with a six iron, we're probably looking around about five to 6,000 revs on that. So we want to see if it's in that window. Um, and again, if it's comparable. So vice up first. It's a good shot. Well, Look at this. You nearly good. hold it last time we played this hole. The flag was actually back left, wasn't it? It was back left there, and I went a tiny bit long. So, 600 revs there, so 5,800 spin. So, carried 183, the perfect number, and ran out to 190. So, very similar to what I actually perfect. did 
on the actual golf course. So Pro V1 up now. Wow, he ripped it again. Looks similar again, similar distance, maybe a it's little exactly bit. Exactly the same because I've just keep maybe one eight four, maybe a yard. Let's see. 5,008 spin, 185 yards carry, so I got two yards extra carry. Again, a little bit faster ball speed. Pretty identical, that, wasn't it? Yeah, again. 5.8 spin for both. Very mm. similar flight as well, so a nice kind of like launch in the same. So obviously we are getting a three-piece urethane cover ball. I'm going vice first. Vice first for James. Oh, I pulled that a little bit. Pulled it a little bit, but distance-wise looks absolutely perfect. So 183 carry there, 182 carry, spin 4200, which it did pull it a little bit, so that makes sense. Luckily enough, exactly the same shot for you. Consistency is key there for James. So I think that one landed a little bit shorter, but let's see. So again, 4000 spin, 177 carry. So for James there, exactly what he said if he gives the same kind of strike and the same kind of swing, the spin has been exactly where you would expect. What ball was that, James? That's a vice. That's a vice. That's straight at it. Oh! The closest one for us. Well, let's have a look at spin. That was a good shot. Spin, 4-6. Yeah, I am quite a low spin player with irons, I find, as well. Yeah, so you'll find what suits you. So as long as you can get a ball that's the same... Let's do a wedge. <laughs> Unless you slightly miss it. We're going to finish with a wedge, guys. So exactly the same there. Not much in that with the mid-irons. Let's get a wedge. Right, so wedges, I'm going to go vice first. We've got 90 yards. Water on the right. Remember this hole well. So spin here, we'll be expecting close to between eight to 10,000 revs. So it'll be interesting. That's perfect distance. Very 90. close. And 9,600 revs. So... Exactly what, what ball he did. do you think that have I told you what ball it was? That was the vice, that yeah. one. And the good thing there, we said it is a 90 yard shot. And if you look at James's carry, 90. And if we look distance. at where it is in relation to the flag, I think we're fairly so, close. Now the Pro V1. That's straight down it as well. Let's have a look. Let's get on there. A little bit short, four yard short, nine short. four spin again. So very, very similar numbers there. I actually quite enjoyed the feel on both of those balls. I, I don't feel like I would want to pay a lot more money for one than the other. Again, three-piece cast urethane, you're going to get a very similar feel and performance around the greens. Yeah. Two tough ones to follow. I'm going to start with the Pro V1 this time. So mix it up. I've started with the Vice the previous two times. So Pro V1. Good strike, a little bit long of 90. Not too bad, 92 yards. 9-8 spin or 9-9 spin, so exactly where we said. Now up with the vice, let's try and get a little bit closer. That's not in the hitting zone, so that'll be no good to us, that is. That's at it. Just a little bit short, took too much off that, so 81 yards there, but 8,000 spin, that was just because of the speed, I was 10 yards short. So we can see guys, a golf ball there that is around about 15 to 20 pounds cheaper potentially, or 15 to 20 dollars cheaper than the Pro V1, a three piece golf ball, a urethane cover, and it's standing up with the numbers. Maybe there's not as much marketing goes into the Vice golf balls, but if you're looking for something that's a little bit cheaper, we all lose a golf ball now and then, me and James certainly do more than our fair share then that could be a great option. Good numbers, going to be consistent and could help you lower your handicap. So guys, well, as well as save you a few pounds. So guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again later in the week.